Hello everyone, uh, Matthew with F3 here at a site, uh, 3rd Street Market Halls Venue 3 in Milwaukee to swap out some network equipment. Um, this is a site that we took on earlier this year that we uh, had swapped out some network equipment for and taken over from a previous company. And when we previously did so, we just did a one-for-one -one swap for the network equipment that they currently had on site. And we ended up finding out that that is not enough and they need more powerful equipment. They have access points around here that during peak hours were drawing too much PoE from the 16 port switch that they are currently using. So we decided to come out here and swap out some hardware for them. So that way this site, the venue three can perform uh, more optimal and not have that power issue. When you have an event in here, a lot of people are using access points. Um, and it's bringing the site down because they're not able to power all those access points. So we have a couple devices here. First, we're upgrading them to a UXG Max. They're previously using the UXG Lite. Um, so this will give them a bit more of a memory boost here at the site. But they also, this has a dual WAN capability that the lights do not have. And that is helpful because we're also installing a Pronto router today that they will be using as failover for this location. So if the main ISP goes out, the network will click over to the Pronto solution that we have for them as failover. And then we also have a 24 port PoE switch. So this should supply more than enough for the access points that they have on site. Um, currently they have seven here. Um, and so that should give this site more than enough power that they need to be able to keep those access points up um, and running. So we are going to go back and swap out the old gateway for the new one. Um, and because they are on a cloud hosted controller, that should be a pretty simple swap of removing that old gateway and then just adopting the new one to it. And then making sure that those access points and this new switch get plugged in and adopted to the network as well. Okay, so now we're over here at this little network rack they have in the closet. And the first thing that we are going to do is remove this gateway from the dashboard so that way we can adopt our new gateway to this same site. So I have my laptop here <clears throat> on our unified dashboard. And so I'm just going to click on this current gateway light for this location. And I'm going to remove it from this site. All okay, right, perfect. So now that is no longer on this site. So I'm going to remove it here. Remove the power cord. And then I'll leave these two cables here since one is our uplink and one is the other cable that was connecting the switch. So I will set those off to the side. And then the next thing that we are going to do, let's see, these are all labeled here. Okay. I'm going to leave these plugged in for the moment and just move this to the side. And then I'm going to get our new UXG Max connected and adopted to this site. Okay, and then we have this cable here was the uplink for the network connection. So I'm just gonna plug that into this WAN port before I plug it into power. Okay, that's coming on. And now I have my laptop here that I can connect to the gateway in order to uh, go through the process of SSAing, SSHing into the device and going through the set and form prompts to tell it which controller to navigate to, to point to. So I'll plug one into there and then one end will go into my laptop. And then once I'm waiting for that light to stop flashing white, once it does that, I will go through the prompts that we have. Um, we have a script that is created as well to make this process easier and simpler. Um, and so I will be using that in order to speed this process along a little bit. All right, so we have that gateway ready to go. I'm gonna run our script here. Uh, always checking for, okay, it has that default unify IP address. And I'm gonna run that through. And that Gateway Max is ready to be adopted to F3 IT Controller Zero, which is perfect. So now on this Venue 3 site, I am going through the process of adopting our gateway. That light is turning blue. So now we have a connection to the gateway. 
and we should be able once this is up to get this new switch adopted as well and then start uh adding these other access points back onto the network to get them all set up and ready to go again okay so this gateway is now on our remote controller on the site for this location so i'm going to get this 24 port switch plugged in and adopt that as well and then we can move this access points and the other pos and internal devices over to this new switch so we have this box here that comes with some mounting equipment but we shouldn't need it for this site they have this nice little shelf here that we should be able to use and then we have the switch here and then we can just go ahead and get the power cable plugged into the back before we slide it back onto this little shelf here and then we can just sit this guy right on top I'll just connect my laptop and then from here we have this cable that can be our uplink for the new switch and I'll take it out of this old 16 port now and throw it here into the 24 all right and now we just need to plug this into power Perfect. Now that should come online <clears throat> and we can adopt the switch and then start moving those access points over onto that. Perfect. So now the switch is online and connected and through the mobile app, it'll pop up and let us know that a new device was found. So we can go through the process of setting it up straight through the app. So that has been adopted to the site. So now that's going to take a minute to get ready and then it might see an update as well. Okay, perfect. So we have the gateway and our switch both now adopted onto the network. They both need updates, but we'll take care of that a little bit later here. The next thing I wanna do before I start plugging devices from this old switch into the new switch is make sure that these ports are on the correct VLANs for these devices so that way there's no issues that get caused if they get plugged into a port that's on a different network than they should be on. Uh, the cool thing with the cloud controllers is that so the gateway for the previous site is offline, but we can still see as well as that switch. We have the option to click into the port manager and actually see those VLANs that all the other ports were on previously. So what I can go through here is set this switch up so that way all the ports match the previous switch. And then I can go back and plug these cables into the same numbered switches on here. And all the devices should come on that correct network that they were previously on. All right, now that we have these ports set up and ready to go, we should be able to start plugging these cables into this new switch. And then for these access points that were on these first two, we can get rid of the power injectors since this new switch is more powerful and we'll be able to handle it. So we'll get rid of those. We can throw you there. And then throw that one there. And then now as these access points start turning back on, they should start coming back online and showing up on our dashboard here. Perfect. Now the access points are coming back online. They're starting to show back online as well. Um, so they are coming back up for us. Once everything is back online, we'll run updates through the site. So that way everything is currently up to date and ready to go. Um, and now we can remove that old switch off of here as well that I was keeping just to be able to see what ports I can assign these to. So we'll remove that. And now after a few updates, they should be all set. So this site now is all set up and configured for the Unify equipment. And the last step before we leave here, since we do have a failover device to put in place, is getting this online and connected to the Unify and then running a uh, test to make sure that the failover is working properly. So the first thing that I will do, have it plugged in here already to the network. <clears throat> and so we'll place that up here right on top of this switch. And 
there we go. And then while that is coming online and booting up, we just have to go back into Unify and assign a WAN2 port for our UXG Max. Uh, so we can go port four, since that'll be right next to the main WAN. We'll throw that there in port four and we'll leave ports two and three open in case there's any other devices that they need to connect directly to the gateway. Uh, but they also, also have these open ports on the end of the switch as well. Okay, perfect. Now we have port four set up on our UXG to be used for failover. So once that finishes getting ready, we can connect our Pronto router. Over here, we use port one as the uplink for that. And we can swing that around here and get that plugged into port four. So now that the router has powered on and has connected to the Unify, we are now seeing a WAN2 in place for T-Mobile USA, which is what we use uh, for the SIM card in our routers. Um, so now what we typically do is we will unplug the WAN1 and see what happens as it transitions and fails over to this Prano router that we have installed. And we just check to make sure that the system comes back online. So we will unplug that and give that a minute and then watch the network and see how it reacts. And that test seems to have worked. I am seeing now that WAN1 offline, but the WAN2 for T-Mobile has kicked in and it's showing activity. Um, and I have my laptop plugged into the switch here. I'm still able to browse web websites as well as checking the Pronto cloud controller that we can see our router and that is showing online as well. So yeah, we have Unify adoption and replacement of the old devices that we were using as well as the added Pronto for failover. And so they look like they are all ready to go. And the last thing we'll do before we head out is just walk around. They have a POS station and a uh, wall mounted device that controls the lights and audio and things like that. And so we'll always just kind of check to make sure everything is back up online, but they look like they are ready to go. So thank you for watching this. I hope this was a little informational. Uh, maybe learn something new. Maybe have some suggestions in the comments for what you would prefer to do instead. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Good day, good evening, good night.